वेलकम बैक गाइस आई होप यू गाइस आर स्टडिंग रियली गुड एंड बिफोर यू जस्ट एंटर योर एग्जामिनेशन हॉल देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स व्हिच आई हैड टू टेल यू एज समवन हु हैज गिवन माय केसीटी एग्जामिनेशन सो मेक अ नोट ऑफ ऑल दीस पॉइंट्स एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दीस पॉइंट्स विल सर्टेनली हेल्प यू गिव योर एग्जामिनेशन पीसफुली एंड आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू डू दैट बिकॉज व्हेनेवर देयर इज नो पीस ऑफ माइंड things which you know also won't uh, come out first things first have a good sleep before your examination day that is the day before your examination have a good sleep have around 6 uh, to 8 hours of good sleep so that you will have a clear mind set in order to approach your examination now talking about the dress code which you should be uh, applying when you are entering your examination hall there are certain minor things which you should be taking care of first thing is about you should not be wearing the shoes for your uh, footwear you should be wearing uh, any sandals or any belt slippers or something like that shoes aren't allowed inside your examination hall yes there were people who uh, had uh, own shoes and they had removed it outside the examination hall that will work but why just take risk uh, just wear some sandals or something so that that won't cause any problems for you and then wrist watches and any kind of electronic items that applies the same for all the examinations out there so those things you should be taking care of and a clock will be there in your examination hall some people were asking me about uh, can we wear jeans and go yes i had worn a jeans pant and i am completing my third semester of engineering now so i think that should answer your query there you can wear a decent jeans pant and some people tell that a lot of pockets aren't recommended in your jeans pant but still jeans will work out and next talking about uh, the things which you should be carrying into your examination hall uh, first thing is a blue or black ballpoint pen it shouldn't be only one pen it you can just take two to three pens of the same model or same company along with it you need to carry a unique id proof unique id proof in the sense it can be your aadhar card it can be your pan card or dl if you are above 18 years already and it can also be your uh, hall ticket which you have carried for your pu examinations so these are uh, the things which come under that id proof which is required to verify that you are the person who is giving your examination and the third which is actually the most important thing it is your hall ticket or your admit card which was released in the official website recently take at least two printouts of it and uh, keep it uh, very carefully so that uh, it will not only be handy in allowing you into the examination hall but also is important in the counseling process and many uh, college admission process and in scholarships too so that is important uh, i think that should be enough in terms of the things which you need to carry for your examination hall and now talking about the examination time when you are inside your examination hall uh there will be certain disturbances for you from the image later to give sign and to put your signature over the attendance sheet and many other sheets you should be ready for that mentally and you should not get frustrated uh they'll be approaching you for some signatures or some verification in that time just uh take your mindset aside from your paper and just uh, put that or uh, just complete those formalities and uh talking about filling your omr sheet again uh, omr is something which you should be really careful of and i have seen people faltering in marking that omr guys one thing i would recommend here is to fill your omr along with solving the questions itself cause when you keep filling omr at the end and you you complete all 60 questions once you will be solving 40 questions out of it let's say and now when you enter uh, the omr sheet to solve those 40 questions the order may miss out yes it you may think that okay we will be conscious and i'll be conscious i'll be uh, rightly marking the omr sheet after i complete my examination examination hall that nervousness that uh, tension that kind of environment it will be completely different from what you are in right now i have seen people falter in it so i don't want anybody to uh, fall in that so that is the reason why i'm stressing upon the point of solving or uh, marking in the omr sheet as soon as you are sure with some uh, answer or some uh, choice which you have selected now talking about approaching the paper in your examination hall i always follow the three stage approach for uh, paper solving that is once first you see the paper first go through each and every question uh, it may take 10 minutes of your examination but still it's fine at least 5 to 10 minutes just go through the entire paper so it will know 
uh, what all the questions you are will be able to do it and just go through each and every question now in the first stage go from 1 to 60 solve those questions which you are completely sure of completely sure in the sense you should be 100% knowing that that is the correct answer for that particular question in that case mark it in your OMR, uh, I mean in your question paper put a triple tick there and just uh, put it in your OMR sheet or mark it in your OMR sheet so uh, let's say you solve around 20 questions in your first thing now now is the time to just go back again go back from question number one and see for questions which you weren't able to solve in stage one now you will be solving those questions which will be somewhere in the middle okay i know the concept but i don't think i'll be able to arrive to the final answer correctly so these kind of questions will be uh, solved in the second stage and again those also should be marked in your omr sheet now is the time where you will be approaching the third stage in which you will be solving questions which you aren't comfortable with or I uh, to be uh, really straightforward the questions which you don't know the approach or you are completely blank in this time you should the your guessing ability should be coming into action now uh, let me talk something about this guessing in your examination hall in the end if you aren't able to solve certain questions that is the time where your guessing ability should come into action and you can just eliminate options there will be some questions in which two options will be completely unrelated to the answer which you should be arriving so just eliminate them and in these two think of which is the close answer and you will have a certain gut feel about yeah this option may be right go with your gut feel in the end even after your third stage there will be around uh, there will be certain questions which you will completely bleed blank off now is the time where i would uh, share a small trick with you which my sir had told me uh, back in my back during my 12th class now suppose you will be solving 40 questions okay so for 40 questions will be marked in the omr and 20 questions will be left in which you will be completely blank of the entire 20 questions now now how how should we go about it 40 questions are done check the omr in those 40 questions check for the option which is least chosen that is in those 40 questions uh, suppose there are 8 questions for which a option is correct and uh, 20 or uh, 12 questions for which B is correct and 14 questions for which C is correct and there are only 6 questions in which D is correct. The general approach or the general tendency of the examiner will be to equally distribute A, B, C, D options among all the 60 questions. I don't, I'm not telling that that will be exactly happening but still the general tendency, I hope you understand it. So the general uh, feel will be to give almost equal weightage to all the options there. And if that is a possibility, then I would be taking that risk of selecting that option which is uh, least marked in my uh, currently marked options and that I'll be marking it for the entire remaining questions. I had did this for mathematics guys. I have talked about this in my previous videos. I was completely blank about mathematics paper wherein I had stuck and I had wasted a lot of time in two questions which were actually wrong. There were four questions in our paper for which correct options wasn't available in the correct option wasn't available in that paper and for that i had wasted a lot of time and in the end i was left with more than around close to 25 questions and for all the 25 questions i had put d because in the questions which i had marked or in the options which i had marked in the omr d was the option which i had least marked i had marked around four to five d's that's it so now i thought uh, i'll apply this and i just had uh, put D option for all the remaining 25 questions and most of them had gone right and I feel that this is the strategy or this is the plan of action which you should implement only at the last minute it's not that okay you go to the paper solve some questions and then apply the strategy straight away if that doesn't work like that try everything and if any, if nothing works this is something which you can think of uh, keeping in mind the fact that examiner will be uh, trying to give equal weightage to all the options A, B, C, D. So check your paper, keep track of what you are doing. There will be certainly some nervousness when you enter your examination hall because that one hour will be deciding your uh, future but still uh, minimal care taken and uh, minimal focus which you should be uh, having on your paper and what you are doing in your examination hall that should be enough guys. So the one hour which will be given, make use of it 
to the maximum and do well do really well and uh, whatever you have prepared that should be uh, seen or that should be reflected in your paper and i don't want anybody to falter in that part especially so studying and other things that is different but studying something and not able to apply that in your examination hall that certainly feels uh, really bad and i don't want anybody to fail it so all the very best for all of you and uh, if you need any specific videos or topic specific videos before your examination so make sure that you put it as soon as possible in the comment section share this video with your friends who are uh, worried about what uh, the instructions which they need for the examination day and uh, even they get to know about what things they need to take care of. study well and make the most out of the available time and that is the only thing which i have uh, believed in that is the hard work and the effort you put in and uh, i don't think uh, you can uh, crack kcd without studying or solve certain questions without studying that i don't think that is uh, applicable for an examination like kcd guys with that note this is darshan gowda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys we'll meet in the next video bye